Now here's another tumor with a female predilection. This is a nodule from the subcutis in the vulva. And this is an example of angiomyofibroblastoma. Angiomyofibroblastoma is one of a group of different tumors that tends to occur in the genital region. And sometimes these are collectively referred to as the uh, benign genital stromal tumors. Even though the entities are unrelated, they can have some overlapping microscopic features, which we won't go into today. But the main things to remember about angiomyofibroblastoma, that they usually occur in the vulva, uh, and they are composed of these eosinophilic epithelioid or plump spindle cells. So they have an eosinophilic cytoplasm, oval to round nuclei, and those spindle cells tend to arrange themselves in cords or strands that kind of stretch out throughout um, the, the stroma here. These kind of chains, cords, strands that are linear. And the stroma varies from being collagen-rich, even hyalinized and sclerotic sometimes, to being very loose and mixoid or edematous. You can really run a range there. There also has a tendency in these tumors to have dilated ectatic blood vessels, and sometimes the tumor cells will kind of swirl and whirl around these dilated vessels. So eosinophilic plump spindle to epithelioid cells, cords and chains in a mixoid to hyalinized stroma are the features of angiomyofibroblastoma. Let me show you one of the, oh, there's the area really prominent cords. Look at that, this is these very, very long chains and cords of tumor cells stretched out here in the midst of, of this edematous kind of background. Um, and then the, uh, the other thing is that on immunohistochemistry, these cells classically tend to be positive for Desmond as well as for estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor. Um, but do keep in mind that ER and PR can be positive in many different um, neoplasms in the female genital tract. Okay, angiomyofibroblastoma.